From a prominent star departure to some huge plot changes, new additions, and an age span of 19 years, here's how Fantastic Beasts 3 will change everything in the franchise. Johnny Depp is replaced. Play by the rules. No cheating, children. Johnny Depp decided to leave the Fantastic Beasts franchise after he lost his libel case against British tabloid The Sun. The publication has written some, according to most reports, fake comments about the famous star, and the actor was required to leave the role in Fantastic Beasts. So, who's replacing him? Danish actor Mads Mikkelsen was cast as the dark wizard Gellert Grindelwald. According to Mads, his only wish was to have a conversation with Johnny Depp about taking up his role of Dark Lord Grindelwald. Depp had a long way of controversy with his ex-wife Amber Heard. We also need to mention that he recently won a case as he tried to discover whether his ex-wife actually did the donation of her $7 million divorce settlement. Amber promised to donate the money to the American Civil Liberties Union and Children's Hospital Los Angeles after the couple divorced in 2016. But Depp's lawyer, Andrew Caldecott, has shown that the guaranteed donation was, quote, a calculated and manipulative lie that tipped the scales against Mr. Depp from the very beginning. Most fans all over the world signed petitions for bringing Johnny back his lost roles, as they claim Depp is the victim in the case with his ex-wife, and he's actually being tricked by her. So according to most people, Fantastic Beast will not be worth watching without the star in it. While speaking to UK's The Times, Matt Mickelson said he doesn't know what happened in Depp's private life, and he also doesn't know if it was fair for him to lose his job. But he knows the film must continue, and he'll be happy to perform the famous role. We also need to mention that the actor played Hannibal in the series Hannibal, and was a performance done after the amazingly talented Anthony Hopkins. So Matt kind of has experience in this field. According to Mickelson, he will not copy Johnny Depp for what would be, quote, creative self-destruction. He told Collider, nobody's interested in him going in there and trying to copy anything. That would be creative self-destruction immediately, especially when it's been done before and masterfully. What do you guys think about the recast? Let us know in the comments section below. Fantastic Beasts is, as you already know, a part of the universe that also covers the Harry Potter films and books. J.K. Rowling and Steve Cloves. Albus Dumbledore, so fond of you, Mr. Scamander. Yet another major change in the film is one in the writing. So, news all over the internet shared that in the Fantastic Beasts franchise, J.K. Rowling now has a co-screenwriter in Steve Cloves. This was not previously planned in the production of the films, and this will bring major changes in the story, as well as the writing. J.K. Rowling was the only credited screenwriter of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. Now, why did the producers decide to have the screenplay for Fantastic Beasts 3 co-written by Rowling and Cloves? What happened? Well, before we answer this, we need to mention that Steve Cloves wrote all of the Harry Potter movie scripts except for the fifth one, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That one was written by Michael Goldenberg. So, according to most fans, the second Fantastic Beast film was pretty bad, and most fans were quite disappointed by its story. And as we previously said, the film was written by the respected J.K. Rowling. Now, the producers might try to save the film by combining Cloves and Rowling. To be fair, they do make a good writing team. So, it's pretty simple. Warner Brothers doesn't quite presume J.K. Rowling will do a good job alone after the failure of Crimes of Grindelwald. Fantastic Beasts 3 was faced with delays because of the pandemic, and according to Dan Fogler, the film was pushed back because the third movie is, quote, gigantic. But most sources claim the producers had big problems with the script until they decided to include Steve Cloves in it. What do you guys think about this? Share your own thoughts in the comments below. The J.K. Rowling Status Fantastic Beasts 3 seems like a doomed film. As we previously said, Depp is leaving the franchise, Rowling can't be trusted with the script, and last but not least, she was also involved in a controversy after her comments about transgender people. The author was accused of transphobia on Twitter. She later posted an explanation on Twitter in which she says she knows and loves trans people, but erasing the concept of intercourse removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It doesn't hate to speak the truth, she tweeted. This only made things worse for the Fantastic Beasts franchise, as it ruined its reputation. Now, let's continue with the one and only Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe's Comeback 
The actor made it clear that he won't play Harry Potter in a Fantastic Beasts films. He said he's not interested in reprising his iconic role of Harry Potter in the fantasy film spin-off films, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. According to Daniel, who played the iconic role for a whole decade, the films are doing fine without the characters from Harry Potter. Variety asked him if he would return as Harry in the Fantastic Beasts series, and Radcliffe said, quote, I don't think so. I don't like to say no to things, but it's not something I'm rushing to do. I feel like those films have moved on, and they're just doing fine without us. I'm happy to keep it that way. The actor also mentioned that he's not in a place in his life where he would feel good signing up for one series years in advance. Well, a lot of fans were disappointed by this statement, as they want as many characters from Harry Potter to make an appearance in the new franchise. Based on Rowling's fantasy books of the same name, the Harry Potter series had eight movie parts released between 2001 and 11, and starred Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint in the leads. The spin-off prequel series started in 2016, with Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, with Eddie Redmayne's Newt Scamander in the lead role. Age Span in the Plot This many changes only lead to one question. How will this all affect the next film? Well, while the plot of the film is not yet known, we know that Fantastic Beasts 3 will be set in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This is the third Fantastic Beasts film, and there will be two more films in the franchise, five in total. Another major difference in the plot is that the third film series will span 19 years. The film will continue with the story and the focus on the global wizarding war and the duel between Grindelwald and Dumbledore in 1945. Both played important parts in Grindelwald's final blow. According to an interview with Dan Fogler and Sci-Fi Wire, the character development in the third film is amazing and it's very similar to the feel of the first movie, which, according to him, is a great thing. It's leading towards this massive war with the backdrop of World War II, so you can just imagine how many epic battle scenes are coming. A lot of fans of the franchise were hoping that they're going to see a younger Hagrid in the third film, and according to Dan, Jacob could be Hagrid's adopted father. He said he always thought that there was a moment where he's on a date with the other giantess, and he's talking about like, my mother was a giant and my father was a wee little man, and she would put him up on the shelves, he told the movie dweeb. And then he came up with the theory that Jacob was his adopted father. When it comes to other characters from Harry Potter making an appearance in the new Fantastic Beasts film, J.K. Rowling said that with the whole Time Turner thing, we can expect a lot of them to show up. The famous author further revealed that Lally will have a significant presence in Fantastic Beasts 3. Quote, You only see a hint of Lally in Fantastic Beasts 2. Her true glory is revealed in FB3, she said. Which of these changes will, according to you, have the biggest influence on the third Fantastic Beasts film? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.